Um, so my name is Heather Larson. Um, I currently work at Google as a corporate operations engineer, which is a fancy nondescript title for everybody that kind of does IT operations at Google. What it's like to work at Google. So I studied IT. Um, I did the information technology program and when it was in its infancy at FSU. I loved my IT classes and I was like, yes, this is where I want to be. So right after graduation, my first job was at the marketing company. Um, a lot of people have heard of it. It's called Visit Florida. It does all the tourism marketing for Florida. Um, and I got hired as their IT help desk, um, which wasn't what I wanted to be doing. I wanted to be a sysadmin, but I knew I was going to need experience under my plate. So I took that role and did that for about two years. And then I was able to move into a sysadmin role. And that one's actually kind of a short but funny story. Um, I was working at Big Ben Hospice in Tallahassee, um, managing a small rack of servers. Um, and I got a message one day on LinkedIn from a Google recruiter. And of course, I didn't believe it was an actual Google recruiter because why would Google reach out to me in Tallahassee? And after a couple emails back and forth, I found out it was actually a Google recruiter. Um, and she was looking for people to fill a specific position. Um, and the entire time I was going through the interview process, I was sure that it was a joke. Like I was just waiting for the joke to occur. Um, but I ended up getting the position. So now everybody always asks, like, how did you get hired at Google? I'm like, well, keep your LinkedIn up to date. At Google specifically, I do a mix of project-based work and traditional IT operations. So um, my team serves as the IT department for physical security, which is like guards and the people who keep all the billion Google offices safe. Um, fun fact, we actually have a larger guard force than most countries' police forces. Some of my day-to-day -day work is managing the video surveillance system, the batch system that works in all of our offices globally, um, so those are massive systems with big back ends and big front ends and then they have client software and we kind of handle all of those things. So or we can be serving on a outage rotation, which I'm currently on call right now. And so if the badge system goes down, which happens, I will get a page and I have to log in and figure out why that system is down and get it up as quickly as possible. Um, because in the meantime, Googlers are not as secure as they need to be. But I get to kind of drive where we're going in the future. So. I'm migrating a lot of our backend systems from traditional hardware to Google Cloud Platform. Um, I'm helping to decide what our next badging system solution will look like. I am more of a sysadmin, so I typically write in Python and PowerShell. Um, most of my code right now has been PowerShell only because we maintain a fleet of Windows servers. I think my biggest challenge that I definitely face is, especially at a big company like Google, is prioritization. So um, as you get big like we are, clearly, um, there's a lot of competing priorities, a lot of projects. Everybody has ideas about where we should go next or what the biggest, most important thing to do. And so what happens is folks that are becoming more senior say, no, we really need to do this and here's why. And you'll find four other teams that'll say, no, you don't need to do that. Here's what we think you should be doing. And so getting your work prioritized and convincing people that the things that you know need to be done have to have the right people on them and you need people to support it um, is the most difficult thing I deal with right now day to day. Um, and so how I'm dealing with that is I've, I've found ways to really document and communicate clearly why what I want to work on is so important. What impact will it have? Why do you want to work on this? Why does Google care? Um, and then I found that getting the right people to support you, not just your manager, but do you know someone in the network team who really knows that this would be important and help secure the network? Can you get them to get their support behind it? Can they help you talk about it? A TL is a tech leader. It has different, it stands for different things to different companies, but essentially it's somebody who's not a manager. They don't want to be a manager. They are an individual contributor, but their technical skills are at a level where other people look to them for guidance. And they also have a um, personality or a drive to be a help. So people turn to them when they need help with their code or they have questions and they feel comfortable asking those. So um, a tech lead is basically kind of like a manager, but doesn't have direct authority over the people around them. Be flexible and adaptable. 
That was not one I heard much in college. And I think um, we have to talk about it more in the tech field. Our skill sets are constantly evolving. They have to, because technology is constantly evolving. And the minute that you think I'm the best in this field, you will be obsolete. You have to be ready and willing to continuously learn and continuously evolve. At Google, there's a running joke about deprecating things. We deprecate things often before a new one is in place. So as soon as you get comfortable using a tool, it's deprecated. It's no longer supported and there's a new tool to use. And that can be really daunting if you're not prepared for it. On the other hand, if you think, oh, I was expecting that, all right, it's fine. There'll be a new tool here shortly it throws you less and you'll find that you succeed more because you're just not thrown by the changes. So be flexible, be adaptable, stay relevant, um, and be prepared to be made obsolete and be willing to figure out what your next skill set's gonna be that brings value.